behind closed doors against the German youth side at the World Cup finals and against Mexico on the 17th of June. Saudi Arabia, armband for Saudi Arabia. Their most capped player making his 135th appearance for his country tonight. Champions League title personally. A counter-attack, but I'm expecting Germany to... Uh, knee problem, bit of bruising, I'm told. So he won't be called upon by Joachim Love. No victory over Argentina. Also start tonight, Neuer, Boateng, Hummels, Muller and Kroos. See Timo Werner, it's a decent ball in, but it was well claimed by Abdullah Almayouf. It's good passing and movement from Germany, wasn't it? The movement, the pace of Timo Werner. Alongside Joachim Love. Kroos then to take the free kick here. It's two on the edge of the area as it goes in there from Kroos. Just off target from Hummels, as the previous header was from Jerome Boateng. Yeah, the flag was up. I think, so. I think it was offside, but they will have a height advantage over Saudi Arabia. Looks a little disorganised, free header for Boateng. Slight slip there, Kroos. Chip forward by Kimmy. It's a lovely ball of Garner. What a great play for the Germans to make it 1 0. Such a well constructed goal. And it's Timo Werner who continues his fantastic form in front of goal for his country. Eight goals now in 14 caps for Werner. And it's been a good start for the Joachim Love side. Yeah, as Germany has started well on the front foot. Kimmich looked for the ball a second ago. It didn't make it, but that time it was perfect for the run of Marco Royce in behind the fullback, Al Shirani. Simple pass across the six yard box and Timo Werner. He really looks like he belongs among such stellar company. Saudi Arabia look to hit back immediate. Al Sherry, a little setback to Al Jassim, whose touch just got away from him. And the build up play is nice from Saudi Arabia. It's a good effort, wasn't it, from Al Basari, cutting onto his right foot. And inside here by Kimmich. He made his way into the. Here is ball in, nicely done by Werner. He's made a very good start to this game. He hits the shot, fires against the post. Almayouf was beaten. Hits it well, keeps it down. Beautiful technique. A little bit unfortunate. And the likes of Muller and and it goes from he's inside here to Kroos. There was good movement from Muller. It's to Kadira and Muller's there. And there was a few of them waiting to tap it in, but the flag was up quickly. Yeah, the goalkeeper Al Maouf was very aware that <laughs> there was an offside there. Draxler. It's a nice ball. I think saw the goalkeeper out of position. It's, it was momentarily kept in over the far side by Draxler. Just trying to. Alan Wall out here needs some support did pretty well in the first instance but Germany doing up in the end it's a magnificent recovery tackle from Mats Hummels but oh, looking a threat here and it had to be turned behind by Hummels and it's a good period of the first half this for Saudi Arabia it is it's out Sl movement from Kadira it's Werner who gets on the ball it's well blocked but it falls to Muller he now races to get into the middle He's on for the pullback. Here's Al Mualat. No, oh, might have done better. Yeah, once again, Germany a little bit sloppy and forward here. There are four. Al Dasari. It's turned behind by Hector. There's real ambition being shown here by Saudi Arabia. Oh, they had a 4v3 here. Just the weight on that pass was a little bit too much for Al Dasari. Fires it across the six yard box. Al Mualat arrives, but can't quite guide it on target. But his pull back here for Royce nice layoff for Draxler and Royce will keep it in and there's Draxler and Muller and the flag's up I think the offside flag was up against Timo Werner just before he cut the ball back for Muller it's good play from Germany isn't it it's very intricate in and around the box period of the first half for Saudi Arabia Werner oh and it's touch time it was Muller who was in there. 
Germany do double their advantage before half time they'll be glad of that goal because they have come under some pressure I'm sure it was Muller who applied the last touch there I think he may have been the defender in the end but it was a good move they were patient they managed to Muller makes his way in there Royce with the pull back the first half for him and overall you'd say similar for the German side as a whole but now here come the changes that we'd it looks as though they're just going to keep it to the two there what? is that World Cup ball we were talking about Joshua Kimmich who's got four waiting in the middle here if he can find the room for the cross and he has it's a really important and well made block by Hasawi yeah, he didn't have a lot of options did he as he broke into the box there they did really well actually Saudi this is the move Hector picks out the runner Draxler perfectly nicely controls it with his right foot passes it towards goal it's a good save from Al Mayouf Draxler matches the pass Kinnick with Berner waiting in the middle he's getting dragged a little bit out, out of position Saudi Arabia particularly on that left hand side Al Sharani getting dragged in field by the run of Thomas Muller leaving the space for Kimmich to drive forward Royce Werner Muller and you just wonder whether Thomas Muller there would have seen the run by Joshua Kimmich to his right hand side simple pass to his right Saudi Arabia looking to reduce the deficit here very nearly did it's wonderful feat wasn't it from Aldasari brilliant little feet the way he switched it from one foot to the other Some good friendly game spirit there involving those two eight goals in 16 league appearances for that came in with pace across didn't it took him two attempts to grab it to Stegen good ball from Alfarage into the box Zipped it about nicely at times, kept in by Al Shetty. Looks to go inside here and gets it back again, and it was always dipping, but not quite quickly enough for Al Shetty. It's a decent effort once again, isn't it? Good play up to the edge of the box. Little setback by Al Salah. He wasn't the best. Touch on his chest, hits it on the volley with his left foot. A tug at his shirt. Went down, wins the free kick. Good position this puts three drops of aftershave on before he leaves the dressing room his free kick and it was a little underwhelming just tried to be close going on the outside and Muller will go alone that's another good stop from Al Mayouf yeah, it is a good stop from Al Mayouf but once again I think the finish from Thomas Muller needs to be lower he has to lift it over the challenge it's a lovely run from Here's Gomez with the ball in and Brandt fresh on almost straight onto the score sheet it's a difficult one for him to control wasn't it lovely move again Kroos releasing Mario Gomez down the left hand side fires the ball in just bounces up awkwardly for Brandt on his right foot which is his stronger foot of a beer off all those watching on of course was part of that successful squad in 1996 in England one of those with a younger squad Hector for Brandt and it was a no nonsense challenge he defended well the majority of the game Saudi Arabia just looked like he might have over hit that slightly the ball down this right hand side in the second half and Jesse did well he's got the decision here it's a well, penalty kick Kadira doesn't agree does he but I just wonder if there's just a little nick there Al Jassim just takes the touch past him. I think Al Jassim initiates the contact himself there. Been crafty there. Now the ref was in qualification. Mohamed out. Deficit to one here. It's saved by Tostegan. And then on the rebound, it's in. Al Jassim with the goal that makes it 2 1. And they'll take plenty of confidence from that. Saudi Arabia after Tostegan had done so well. To save the initial shot, he could do nothing about the follow-up. It's unfortunate there to Stegen. It's a pretty awful penalty by Al Salawi, actually. Straight down the middle to Stegen. Makes a good save with his legs. And Al Jassim. 
that's not a bad ball at all. And could they make it 2-2 here? Well, there's a big shout for a penalty. Oh, he should have shot. Should never pass in that situation. Cannot believe he's passed the ball there. Germany once again. At... There is that full-time whistle. Well, Germany take the victory, but you could hardly say that they had to rush it on a high, really. They at least end their five-game winless run. Saudi Arabia beaten for a third game in a row, all of them in June. But they could so easily have leveled things up in the closing stages there.